I wanted to ask you if you could show us the cutter grip one final time and then tell me how, when that baseball left your hand, how you knew that that cutter was going to do what you needed it to do. All right. This was my forcing fastball before the quarter appeared, the, before the Lord gave me the quarter. This is the same grip that I threw with the quarter. But now this pitch no longer was straight no more. Now this pitch is moving. It was forcing fastball. So now what made this pitch good was that uh, this pitch was having the same rotation of a forcing fastball. And when it was approaching to the plate, it will move. No, bad, no fastball have to do that. No fastball could do that. But that pitch did it, you know? And that's what the boys see. The boys saw a forcing fastball, and they swung a forcing fastball pitch. And then when it was close to them, the ball just moved. And 17 years I threw it out, Jack, and uh, the only thing that I didn't do was tell the boys verbally, hey guys, here's the quarter. <laughs> they knew all along for 17 years. And uh, thank God, Jack, I mean, uh, I was successful. Do you realize how incredible that sounds, that everyone knew what you were about to throw, yet you were still able to defeat them and have a Hall of Fame career? That is how the miracle happened, because I will call this pitch a miracle pitch.